Hello marketers. So today I have come up with this FB click ID and how it improves ad campaign performance. Until recently, people thought Facebook click ID is not of importance. People started telling very uh, out and loud that you don't need Facebook click ID because Facebook gives least importance to it. But Meta has recently come up with an update wherein it clearly said it will prioritize click ID. So email ID and click ID has are given highest priority in that recent uh, documentation update that they have released and FBC or the Facebook click ID uh, is one of that thing that will help you improve your event match quality. So let's get started. First of all, what is this FBC or FB click ID? Facebook click ID is an identifier that is assigned automatically by Meta for users who click the ad. So it is appended at the end of the URL as a query parameter, FBCLID query uh, parameter. Now, if you're implemented using, uh, I mean, if you implemented a Metapixel that uses first party cookies on your website, this FB click ID is saved in the FBC cookie. As a marketer, you must know why it is important to collect this Facebook click ID and send it to Facebook. Facebook will be able to identify a user based on this Facebook click ID. So for all the anonymous website visitors who have landed on your website through Facebook ads to track them, identify them and uh, have a complete journey of their track, you need this Facebook click ID. This Facebook click ID will improve your conversion attribution and it will also improve your EMQ because Meta has recently, as I mentioned, gave high priority to this click ID along with email ID. Now this click ID can also be used to track offline conversions and improve your offline conversion tracking as well. So all of this will lead to better ad campaign performance. Let's see how this Facebook click ID works and how it will improve your ad campaign performance. Here you can see how this Facebook click ID works. So first a user click on your Facebook ad then lands on your website. As soon as the user is landed on your website, the click ID is generated. It is appended to the URL as a query parameter. Then uh, like, you know, every CLID question mark is equals to in that format. And then it is also saved in the FBC cookie. If you're using uh, first party cookies with Metapixel. Now this click ID, you can store it and collect, uh, collect it and store it in your CRM along with the user's details for known users. For anonymous users, directly you use customer labs, collect the click ID and uh, store it for both anonymous and known users and send it back to Facebook ads. So how do you send it? You use conversions API or any server side mechanism to send this click ID and all other customer parameters to Facebook. Now Facebook using this click ID will be able to identify that user and will be able to attribute from which campaign or which ad that user has come in. This will improve your conversions because your conversions are attributed accurately. Now, if you ask me that if Facebook click ID alone will help me in improving my ad campaign performance, no, not at all. Facebook click ID alone is not sufficient. To improve your ad campaign performance, you need to know how the ad algorithm works. So how does the ad algorithm work? You need to give good data for these ad algorithms which are like machine learning algorithms and ai so the more better quality data you give the better it works and what data does that algorithm need it is first party data along with various customer parameters such as that will help the algorithm learn better and optimize your campaign performance better now what are these customer parameters that you need to send facebook click id fbc email address FBP, browser ID, external ID, phone number, first name, last name, Facebook login ID, country, city, postal code, etc, etc, etc. So out of all of these, the high priority is given to FBC and FB uh, and email address. Now, after all of after you have all of these customer parameters, you can see how these parameters have increased the EMQ. So here's a screenshot of EMQs. You can see here. Uh, you have 9.3 out of 10 as the event match quality and for all of the events that you're sending it's a purchase event by the way so you are sending email address 100 for all the events ip address user agent phone number browser id external id postal code country and click id so this is how your event match quality is determined inside facebook now what happens when you send all these customer parameters to meta first 
Meta will be able to identify the users accurately. Once it accurately identifies the user by matching the events, it will attribute the users accurately to the ads. This will increase your conversions. It will also increase your event match quality because Meta is able to match. Therefore, it will be showing you high EMQ rates like around 9.38, something like that. It will also help you increase your custom audience match rates because Meta is able to match these audiences better uh, when you are sending the data with all of these parameters. Now, once identification is done, Meta will be able to target the right users at the right time and personalize their user, I mean, your user's experience. Therefore, your retargeting campaigns get better. People have seen almost 2.5x to 3x ROAS uh, when they are using, uh, you know, when they're sending all these parameters in a very, uh, con through convergence API and, you know, very privacy centric way on the server side. Now, uh, it's not just about retargeting. It is also about uh, training the ad algorithm with right data. When you do that, it will improve the prospecting also by expanding the audience net in the right direction because these algorithms are uh, driven based on the data that you send to them. All of this will help you with increased ad campaign performance. So to conclude, you need to send this Facebook click ID and all other parameters to increase your EMQ, eventually improve your conversions and send all of these data on the server side through convergence API and maximize your ad campaign performance. There are a lot of people with a lot of random questions related to EMQ, which are valid and must be answered. So I have brought all of these here, uh, which I think very much necessary for people to understand and get them cleared. So first question, my EMQ score is low. Should I be concerned? So Meta recommends, even if you get on a call with agents of Meta, they will tell we cannot do anything without your EMQ score. You need higher EMQ score, increase your EMQ, then automatically your campaign performance will increase. However, you need not be worried if you are sending external IDs and click IDs for most of the users. Despite sending that, if your EMQ is low, don't be worried about it. So you should see if your EMQ score is low, why it is low, which parameters are you sending? If you're sending enough parameters that will help Meta identify the users, you need not worry about it. Basically, external ID is used for deterministic matching by Meta. That's why people uh, or Meta recommends to send external ID for better matching of the users. Second question, most of my events do not have click ID. Because of that, my EMQ score is low. What should I do? If your EMQ score is low, just because of click ID, again, you need not worry. Why? Because, uh, I mean, uh, I, I should not say you should not be worried. You should analyze what happens, what is happening. So FBC or the click ID is generated for the users only when they land on your website from meta ads. Let's say your major source of traffic is not from meta ads. It's from, let's say organic or maybe some other thing, but not meta ads. Then obviously you'll not have click ID when you don't even, when the user does not even have a click ID, how will you even send that to meta and how will meta be able to match? So that's, that doesn't make sense. So therefore, just because you're, you do not have click ID for all the events that you're sending to Facebook does not mean your ad campaign performance will be low. So you should analyze what is the rationale that is going behind it. Next question. So which parameters matter the most in determining my EMQ? So Facebook in their documentation clearly mentioned email ID is given the high priority. Facebook click ID or the FBC or FB click ID is given the high priority and all the other uh, parameters are given medium and low priority like you know uh, facebook login id or lead id browser id country region postal code all of these are having medium and low priority so focus on sending the parameters which have high priority and medium priority if you're not sending parameters which have low priority it's fine but if you have the data send it but when you're sending it make sure you're sending it through convergence api in a privacy compliant way and if you're sending email ID, you should hash it using the SHA-256 algorithm and then send it. So email ID and phone number, first name, last name, these like known information should be sent in a hashed manner. Facebook has given uh, clearly in its documentation what should be hashed and what should not be hashed. Go through the requirements and send the data accordingly. Now, next question. The, you know, the most, 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 most important question that 
uh, every marketer wants an answer for how do i improve my emq score the best way to improve your emq score is to sync first party customer data with all of these parameters through convergence api and metapixel that is the server side and browser side when you send events both ways and turn on your enhanced advanced matching uh, then you will be able to send the data accurately to meta without any loss and when you send the data accurately meta will match the users with this database accurately and it will increase your emq score now next my emq score is shown as poor or sometimes okay what is the reason so you should understand this thing that this grading of poor okay good great is done based on comparing your emq with similar advertisers in your region uh, so basically it's like let's say you have an emq score of five your competitor or similar advertiser has an emq score of one or two now you will be graded as good or great even though you have emq of five alone let's say you have again emq score of five or six your competitors have emq score of let's say eight or nine point three which is the maximum that we saw until now so now you will your emq is graded as okay not good so that is com comparison so uh, focus on uh, this uh, grading of emq rather than focusing on emq score which is out of 10 alone so that will show you where you stand along among your uh, similar advertisers next question what is the use of external id in meta ads external id is used by meta to identify the users meta clearly tells send external id we'll be able to identify the users better so however external ids of medium priority for meta to match uh, and calculate the emq score but it is better if you send it because not all of your events will have click id which is of high priority so that's it we have one last question is emq important in increasing ad campaign performance before i answer that you should understand that emq is of course essential in helping meta identifying the users with the events accurately once it does it it will be able to attribute the conversions accurately for your ads now when it is attributing the conversions accurately to your ads it is basically giving the complete customer journey to the uh, to meta now these algorithms will learn based on these data conversion data and will train the algorithm with uh, so when you train the algorithm with this high quality relevant data of uh, your first party data it will be able to target people who are more likely to convert therefore this results in a better ad campaign performance and will give you results at a lower cost so basically you will be seeing lower CP, reduced cpps reduced cost per purchase something like that so these are the major questions which i have come across from marketers if you have any questions comment below and i'll be happy to answer them for you or if you have any insights regarding even match quality get back to us through comments or reach out to us through the link uh, in the description and we'll be happy to help i'll also be sharing some resources that is helpful for you in the description below uh, share this video with other marketers who really want to understand this emq this importance of parameters etc etc and trust me they'll be uh, very much happy that you shared with, with them. Thank you.